my tutorial for a mermaid snow globe glitter tumbler. For prep, I've taped off my tumbler and I'm going to give it a light scuff using a 120 grit sanding block and wiping it down with 91% alcohol. Then I'll be ready to add my mermaid stencils. This design is paying homage to a mermaid design I made almost five years ago. The summer of 2018 was apparently mermaid themed. <laughs> Everyone was crazy over anything with mermaids. And when I posted this tumbler, I received so many custom orders that this design pretty much launched my tumblr making business oh man i grew so sick of this design but i decided to give it a revamp for its almost five year anniversary on the inside wall of the glitter globes from the stainless steel depot that's what i'm using there's like a seam on the inside that's what i'm using for the placement of my scales i changed up the scale design from the original and decided on a simpler design but you can do whatever scale placement you like Oh, and keep in mind, like I said, I made this design originally almost five years ago, and I could not, for the life of me, remember where I got my scales and tail, but I found identical scales on Creative Fabrica, as well as some cute mermaid tails. I've linked them down below in the description box if you'd like to check them out. I've also linked the font I use for the saying if you'd like to grab that as well. If you're a Sparkle 2 member in my mentorship group, I placed the SVG for the saying in the drop box if you'd like to use it. After you're done with your stencils, you're going to spray paint your tumbler white. I use Rust-Oleum white spray paint and gloss, but because of the acrylic tumbler, it dries like a mat. So don't be surprised if you use the same spray paint and you get the same effect. I'm not sure why it does that, but let it dry and then you'll be ready to add your inks. For mermaid designs, oh my word, I love using blues, pinks, and purples for my mermaid designs. But for this one, I decided to add yellow. I mean, I mean. <laughs> The jury's still out on if I like it. I mean, it did come out pretty. It came out pretty, but man, I love my blues, pinks, and purples. Let me know which one you guys like in the comments. I do end up doing a blue, pink, and purple design, as you'll see later, and I'll post that process in the mentorship group so you guys won't be sitting through a half an hour tutorial. But yeah, but as always, use whatever colors you like. There can be so many pretty, com there are so many pretty color combinations out there. For my ink placement, I'm going to be starting out with my blue color, or in this case, it's more like a, a teal, a teal green. Then I'm going to be going into my yellow, then my pink, and then I'm going to be ending with my purple. To apply, you'll see me add the ink to my coffee filter, then add the alcohol blending solution, and then apply it to the cup. I do this to thin out the inks. If you want the inks to be darker, use less blending solution. If you want them to be lighter, use more blending solution. Just be careful because there is alcohol in the alcohol blending solution and it may start to take up your paint underneath. So be careful as you're adding that. 
I'll be doing this with all my colors. I'll just be going back and forth, taking my time. It takes about, I, would, I think it took me about an hour to do this section with the alcohol inks. But I wanted to take my time and make sure it was blended out the way I wanted and I got the effect that I wanted as well. When you're finished applying your inks, peel up your stencils. You can let your inks dry overnight before epoxying or you can be impatient like me and dry your inks with a heat gun. I sealed with a coat of epoxy and then I was ready to add my foils. So back in the day, I didn't know foils were a thing when I made my first design, but now that I do, I had to add some just to give my design an extra oomph. I didn't want my foils to cover the openings in my glitter globe or my snow globe, so I reapplied my stencils before adding the foil glue and the foils. And then I'll be taking the stencils off after I lay the foil. 
When you apply the foil, do not worry about the wrinkles that you'll most likely get when you apply them, unless you're a foil savant and have like lots of practice, because man, I can never lay the foils perfectly straight. They get wrinkly and just, it's crazy. But the wrinkles don't take away from the design and actually add to it, so don't stress if it happens to you. When you're all done, seal the foils with a clear sealer. I use Quick Coat from CC DIY, but you can also use a spray sealer because the foils, what they do is that they tend to repel the epoxy. So you need to seal them first before you seal your tumbler with epoxy. I decided to add some extra glitter, of course, cause why not? This is the same glitter color that we'll be using for the snow globe section. For my snow globe liquid, I'll be using half magical liquid from Elmer's and half distilled water, which will give me a suspended glitter look. After experimenting with several different ratios, this is the one that I personally like the best, but that's my preference. If you want a more, if you want more movement in your glitter, add less magical liquid to your mixture. When I fill it, I'll be going back and forth with my glitter and my liquid mixture until it's full. Then I'll give it a good shake then I'll set it aside for a couple of hours to let any bubbles rise to the top. Before setting my tumbler to the side, I unplugged it. I just set the plug like kind of sitting on top of the tumbler and now I have all these little micro bubbles that have kind of risen to the top. To get rid of them, I'll be using 91% alcohol in a syringe and swishing the alcohol around the bottom until all the bubbles have popped. If there is any air that opens up in the bottom after all the little bubbles are gone, I'll add more of my liquid mixture so my globe is nice and full. I personally don't like large art like large air bubbles in my snow globes. But if you don't mind it, you can totally skip this step.
Now this tumbler is gorgeous as is, and I didn't add a saying to my first design five years ago, but I found this super cute quote that I thought would be perfect. The font I used is linked below if you'd like to add one too. I sealed until my tumbler was nice and smooth, then I was ready to add some glitter and my signature to the bottom. Now, I just wanna thank you all for your positive responses to adding my signature to, the, to my design last week. It's something I've wrestled with for a while, but you have all been so supportive, thank you. Looks like my signature will be here to stay. See what I'm talking about? That purple, pink, and blue. Oh, I love it. But the yellow, I like it too. Y'all, you know it. Just let me know what y'all like in the comments. Let me know what you like. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your mermaid snow globe glitter tumblers, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.